you believe in soulmates? Or do you think people could kind of up and leave you at any time? I'm a realist. I think people could up and leave you at any minute. Mm -hmm. I agree. I don't believe in soulmates at all. It's all that's all movie Disney stuff. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> all, so you don't think like you can see that one person is like like I know she's for me, like I met her at Absolutely. Uh, like she's that one but for me. But that's not soulmate. That's, that's just, just your she, compatibility, your chemistry. She likes right. everything you like. You and her got the same exact goals. You guys want to do everything, and like you're like, yeah, like this is what I want to do. And you're like, yeah, I want to travel the world as well. And then I want to go here and here. And she's like, yeah, I want to do that. That's chemistry. Exact. That's not soulmate. That's not just soulmate. God didn't intend that. Is the way I see it. I feel like there's no such thing as just having one soulmate. Like I feel like there's so many people in this world. I don't think that there's just one person that's like, oh my God, I met this person. This is who I'm gonna be with the yeah. rest of my life. I feel like you can run across somebody that you feel like that. And 10, 10, 12 years down the road, you meet somebody else, you know? You cheated. So, no, I did not. I did not. No, I did not. No, I did not. No, I have not. Don't do that. Have you ever, have, have you ever cheated? I personally never cheated. I don't believe yeah. in cheating. Neither have I. But you know what? You know what's crazy? Women don't believe that any man, every, every girl I've come across, and I'm, I'm, in, I'm including my sister, mm -hmm. I'm including my family members, including my female friends. They don't believe that there's a such thing as a woman. Because women. men are more, I feel as though, in a sense, more sexual. So it's like hard to believe that, like, if there's like beautiful women out there, they're not gonna, you know, like see a girl and be like, damn, well, I don't know, I might I cheat. Like, if a tempting. girl. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. But I feel like I can understand why women would feel that way. Yeah, you can look at the men, <laughs> but not women. I think it's about knowing yourself. Like, if you're a person that is very selective about the relationships you want to be in, and you wait until you find that compatibility, then nine times out of 10, you found somebody that sexually satisfies you enough that you don't necessarily get that urge as often. Like, of course you're gonna see things that no. you like, no, but you if get you're bored. getting what you need at home. I don't, I don't really 100% agree with that. So, but I also agree you that could, maybe you've never been totally satisfied by one. Yeah. True. How do, you, how, do you totally how do you how do you get totally satisfied? Right. How do you, what, what's what's totally what's satisfied? What's totally satisfied? Well, why is that like an unbelievable concept? Totally satisfied. Every day there are people who have been married for years who are committed. So maybe just for you, you haven't found that for you. What but if they, I feel like if they you, settled. People settle every day, but that's still a choice. You still chose to settle with somebody. If DJ says to say he's never cheated, maybe he waited long enough to find a woman that could do what he needed them to do for him so that he didn't have that urge as often as an average man who settles. You still single right now? Yes. I also watch a lot of Pornhub, by the way. Oh, I was waiting for it. I was like, there's got to be another reason. I mean, that's healthy. got to be another reason. Maybe I think that it's also the length of a relationship, right? So. If, if he's been, I don't know how long your relationships have been, but I don't think that if a guy's been with a girl for a year, he has the need to cheat. I think that it, be, it, it has to do with the length of the relationship because, you know, it starts. 10 years. Yeah, yeah. I think that sometimes, I don't think you've been with anybody girls, for 10 yeah, years. The length of the relationship. She brought it to dick size. No. <laughs> Depends on the length of the relationship. No, because I think that that has a lot to do with it. I think that, you know, that, that, that that determines whether a man is gonna so, cheat. I don't so think you've had such a long relationship. I got a question. I've been in a relationship on okay? and off for eight years, huh? Eight, eight years? on and off. So when you were off, you did go off and do what you wanted, right? Yeah, because I was off. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why he is not considered well, hold on, cheating. So that relationship was eight years on and off, so maybe more like six. <laughs> but, <laughs> I, but I also had a three, year, three and a half year relationship and a two and a half year relationship. And then during those times, you never had an off time? No. Okay. Well, he went Three ballistic on his off time. Precisely. Probably. Yeah. I did. I did yeah, too. So <laughs> then it works. Then that it's not cheating, but then yeah, that's why he didn't have to cheat because it was off times and mm -hmm. he was satisfied that he came back. How, how much of a percentage is sex in a relationship for y'all guys? Because for me, it is. It matters, but it doesn't matter that much to me. I need a, a good. Se if I married the person that gave me the best sex, I'm gonna be with some slut in Canada True. to keep, be completely honest with you. True. <laughs> All right. I say. I say like seventy. Like we, yeah, wow. that's like more than half the relationship is sex. It is, it is, it is a little, bit, a little much, but I feel like all right, we could bond on other levels, but come down to where we lay in the same bed, something's gonna happen if we got that chemistry. You know, do you think sex stops eventually after 10, 15 years, kids, marriage? Start getting, yeah, I, I believe it gets boring. But it so if it's based off of seventy percent sex, then your relationship's point. already over. But we do the, the other thirty is other activities that we do that that keep us around. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. That's a lot. 
That is a lot. If I take thirty percent out of your paycheck, you you will feel the difference. <laughs> it's, it's you know it's susceptible enough to feel a change. I don't necessarily think it's uh, seventy thirty. I think it's like sixty forty for me. Sixty yeah. percent we need to have sexual chemistry, but the thing is about it is we all gonna get old one day. Mm -hmm. right. Your penis is not gonna work the same way. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a platform and collateral in your relationship for a woman to want to be with you, this is not even about your needs. This is about her needs. What if you end up not being able to perform for her after well, a while? It's quality over she quantity. needs to want to be with you it's, for more than just that. It's funny. I just had this conversation before I came here. A girl told me that 70, 75 percent, it has to be sex, right? Mm -hmm. And she's been single a very long time because she keeps getting cheated on. She's worried about just the sex, so she gets dickmatized. Dick she's ch <laughs> she's, no, ch that's a real she's chasing people just for the dick or right. the sex, and they do her dirty over and over again. And the guys that she's maybe not, like she's not pleasing them. Because I personally, no, personally, I can feel like a, honestly a rotating door of just feeling like a piece of ass sometimes. You feel like you meet a guy, he, he fucks you, and then he leaves you mm -hmm. over and over and over again. And Have we met? <laughs> 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 relationship with this person, but then as soon as you fuck them, they go. But how old are you? I'm 26. So who does it, what does it matter? Enjoy it. Yeah. Well, see, this is the thing. In society, we, as women in society, we are brainwashed that the ultimate goal is a relationship and Always. kids. Married. Yeah, because so you play you with Barbie this, dolls and stuff, and you get like, to no, the house. But it, even in society. Right, genetically, that. I should have had a baby yesterday. Mm -hmm. No, genetically, you should have a baby when you're 14. <laughs> I feel like girls when they're younger, and no disrespect, because I love women. Okay. They watch the Disney movies, Prince yeah. Charming. The guy comes and saves the day. Yeah, that is oh my God, we're gonna get married by the 25. But reality is not like that. When they get yeah. older, they don't go after Prince Charming. They go after the the, the, bad guys. the super bad guys yeah. Yeah, that disrespected them too. over and over again and get dick But then they want the bad guys to become the prince. Yep, that's true. I cannot. And understand. then they get angry when the guy doesn't. But become then you the learn prince. that that mentality doesn't work. I could change him. I can make him what I want. Because no man is gonna change unless he wants to change. No woman can change a man. At the end of the day, if a man wants to change, he'll change on his own. You can never force a man, no matter what you do.